Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share with you another unboxing and first look on a uh, Uncle Henry, or should I say Schrade or Taylor Brands um, uh, knife. So uh, if you are watching regularly my YouTube channel, you will know that I really like uh, to collect uh, traditional knives and probably one of the uh, most value uh, brand right now out there is uh, regarding, of course, these traditional knives. So, Gentle and Pocket Knives uh, are is the company Rough Rider, which is owned by uh, Smoky Mountain Knives. And uh, the Uncle Henry uh, is owned by Taylor Brands, which is under a Shrade or Imperial. They have uh, lots of lots of uh, brands that they acquired through the years, also Smith & Wesson knives, HRT and so on. So Uncle Henry, really a nice uh, box with the model number, a few informations, American Outdoor, yeah warnings, so on. Okay, so like I mentioned in my previous videos, this is this is what I like when the traditional knife, or maybe not even traditional knife, is packaged with a nice uh, piece of paper. Sometimes it is a wax paper, like probably this one, so it will absorb any kind of moisture if uh, that uh, would happen while the knife is in storage. And here on the table we have the Schrade Uncle Henry uh, Steglon Rodi. Uh, let me give a nice uh, close-up on the shield we have Uncle Henry written the steglon is the material uh, that is used for the handles it's basically plastic uh, which mimics uh, a steg bone so let me open it up and give you the specifications so we have uh, the model number 12UH. The overall length is 12.8 centimeters or five inches. Nice small uh, length. Blade length is 5.7 centimeters, 2.2 inches. The handle length is 7.1 centimeters or 2.8 inches. The blade width is one centimeter or 0.4 inches. The blade thickness is 1.8 millimeters or 0.07 inches. And uh, the handle thickness is 1.1 cm or 0.4 inches. We have a 7CR17 MOV uh, steel on the blade. Uncle Henry Schrade engraved or punched in. And the model number. The handles are made of uh, really your standard uh, materials. So you have nickel silver bolsters and shield, and brass liners and pins, nickel silver bale or keychain loop or shackle, whatever you would like to call it. This way is basically you can use it uh, maybe on a chain or a lanyard or uh, you can put it on your keys and have a knife always with you so this handle should be uh, really durable these are made of uh, abs plastic or some some kind of plastic they call it a steglon but uh, they try to imitate uh, a brown steg bone we have a bomb shield with uh, Uncle Henry written on it and <laughs> it's hard to say if there is a half stop because it is not that uh, pronounced but um, let's say there is something okay but I'm not 100% sure because it, 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 it will not um, snap into position right there Okay, anyway, let me uh, jump in right away, uh, compare it 
with of course my favorite Rough Rider, which is the Peanut. It is almost the same size. Uh, they call this model uh, Rody. I don't know if this is a, a pattern uh, designation because uh, it looks a little bit like a Peanut, but have uh, a little bit different uh, shape of the of the hand of the handle. It's not completely a S curve, and also uh, it is only only have one bolster, not two bolsters like the peanut have. So maybe if you are knowledge about this uh, pattern, then please uh, leave comments down below and share uh, with me and everyone else uh, which pattern uh, is this knife. I would really like to know. And there you can see a real stick bone with the synthetic one. So definitely it will stand out for a mile that, yeah, uh, that is plastic. Okay, so now uh, let's talk about the weight and then about the pricing, of course. So the weight comes in 25.6 grams or 0.9 ounces, really nice and light. The price, uh, I checked uh, before I uh, made the video and on the Smoky Mountain Iworks, and they do also carry in this brand, of course, uh, they had the price at uh, $14.99. If you are comparing, yes, uh, it, it is uh, their own brand, but if you are comparing with a real steak bone peanut, this is the RR1808 model from the brown steak bone uh, series, uh, this will cost you only $9.99, so that is uh, be, uh, uh, without shipping, of course. I don't know uh, what the shipping costs are there, but uh, yeah, if you are in Europe, then you are looking to pay closely to 16 euros, so that is around $20. Uh, so, yeah, almost double the price, but it is because all the import fees and taxes involved, and also the, the resellers have to make some money, of course. But if you are in US, then you can decide for yourself which is uh, the best for you. And of course, I neglected to say that the peanut has two blades, so there is also a small pen blade. Okay, let me give you uh, so the correct size comparisons. So here is the Rody, the peanut. Then uh, let's bring out where is the where is the ah uh, here is the here is the toothpick so if you are a fan of uh, buck knives then um if you want something similar then the toothpick is uh, a similar size also with a click point blade these all have a uh, main click point blades only only one blade on the pin uh, on the toothpick of course but um similar size the peanut is a little bit smaller just the teach a little bit and then of course uh, let me show you something larger so here's my case uh, tribal lock a modern a traditional knife Civivi rustic gent and of course I uh, brought out the 1509 from brother which is a modern traditional uh, Lenny's clip uh, with G10. Okay, let's continue with some uh, other more known designs. So here is a small uh, Griptilian from Benchmade. This is a CVV Elementum K by Dozer Folding Hunter. A Buck. Uh, Vintage select uh, and let's bring out also Kaiser Pinch non locking knife and a red model one. And this should be sufficient not to uh, take a lot of your time. So, yes. Uh, what to say more about it? Uh, I really like the uh, the design. I like the shape. Uh, it is definitely a really nice uh, in your pocket, maybe on your keychain, um, backup, uh, secondary 
a blade that you can have and not to know about it and then if you need it uh, you can take it out and uh, be happy <laughs> yes definitely these falls in that category uh, a nice uh, small backup blade a really nice closing action and perfectly centered opening method this is a nice long pull so that is also really good so at around uh, 15 dollars um, it will not break the bank if you are looking for something uh, traditional then uh, this is also a option for you but of course i strongly suggest uh, check out the rough rider uh, knives and uh, you will see a lot a lot of uh, options if you like traditional knives you can also go check out my playlist rough rider knives you will see uh, all knives that i own right there and uh, if you have any questions regarding even this knife or anything else just uh, let me know i am more than to reply as soon as i can if you are a subscriber thank you very much if you are not then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos that i make and i try to produce at least three videos uh, uh, per week so mostly knife and gear oriented but sometimes that's other stuff my other hobbies okay so wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon bye